Right, have we got a screening bar? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That corner come there again, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll, we'll start in your corner and then we'll pull it back my way, yeah? And then we'll see what it's like. Okay, for some reason, I haven't done an intro for this video. But what we're basically doing is we're getting this floor ready. We hard coded it other week, and now what we and we're whacking it all down, sanded it, whacked that. And what we're doing now is we're scraping all the top back just to get rid of any eye points that are in to stop as Kingspan when we get that on from wobbling about. So what we're doing is basically what you do when you block pave, you screed it all, get it as flat flat as possible. Then you put your bricks on. Same thing here, but we're just putting Kingspan on. So yeah, um, we're going to get all this floor prepped and you're going to see us putting the Kingspan down, the Visqueens down that we need, two layers of Visqueen, and then the plumber will be putting all the pipes in. We're going to see that and then we can get it concreted, which is going to be on Monday. So there's going to be another video, hopefully if I can get it filmed, if they'll let me film it, um, I'll bang another video on of that. So hope you enjoy this one. Right, we've got that pretty flat. It's a lot better than it was. And it went up at this, where it ran into other rooms. So we scraped that off there as well. And that's gone down lovely. We haven't done in that room yet. We'll do that later. I think Plumber's got to put some pipes in there. But yeah, we're going to roll this out. So this is the first layer of this screen going down. Um, these rolls are 15 metres by 4 metres wide, so we just cut it off at 15 metre mark and then it'll spread out to 4 metres. And then we're just going to tape it together as we go through the rooms. They're about £45 a roll, so they're not that expensive. So what we're after is the first layer of this screen. We took under here, like that, and that'll go down over it then. So that makes a nice tray, and then a second one will go up wall. So this is the Kingspan going down, this is 140 millimetres, you only need 100 mil, uh, but we've put 140 in, because believe it or not, to get, to get that extra 40 mil, um, of hard core in would have been an extra 10 tons uh, that's how big this room is so it made sense just to get a thicker board to do it so we've got a big overlap on the, on this big screen and then we're just going to tape it all up as well we'll take these corners That last one, Tim. Yep. It is. Does it fit? Yeah, sound, mate. So that's it, we've got all the king span down. We're just putting a last layer of uh, visqueen on top. All the joints are taped. And there was still, we had a couple of boards that were still wobbling about because the boards were, actu they were actually seconds. Uh, um, they were going uh, slightly out, five mil out between some and others. Uh, between one and others um, and they had a bit of a rock on them so I basically got like seven tubes of um, expanding foam just foamed hell out of it left it a day cut it off then taped it all up and now it is really solid floor now so there's no movement in floor at all now so yeah this is final layer of visqueen
Right, we've got our edges, taped them all in, folded some more under, so they're all good. That's taped. We just tacked them off for now, so this screen stays up to the uh, block work. Then we're going to use this upsides. It's got like a double sided sticky tape which does absolutely nothing. It's, it's rubbish really that tape, it's ridiculous. And then you get this, uh, that's got polythene on, and then that's got polythene on and then that tucks like that and then we'll probably take that down as well. Just give it a bit of extra so it don't come through. Right, let's crack on. We're going to tack them on, we've been tacking them on as well because this tape just don't seem to um, hold. So concrete only goes 75mm, so all this is going to get cut off later, that's the idea anyway. So we've got a piece of wood underneath here and then we're just nailing to that because we're going to be a couple of mil higher than um, outside so we're just going to raise it up a little bit and then this piece of wood comes in handy so can nail to that then yeah, the one there. So that's it, we've got the <coughs> layer of visqueen underneath, king span, layer of visqueen on top and this foam round the outsides, I've actually taped it all down as well. I don't know whether you need to do that, I don't think you do, but I've just done it anyway. And then uh, we've got it all the way through rooms. I had to put a block back in there, we knocked it out ages ago uh, when we are doing the hard coring. So I've just bedded that back in. This bathroom um, is getting sorted, I'm waiting for plumber, you're going to see it in a minute. Um, all finished with the uh, plumbing in. So that's it, we've got a um, plumber's bin and put underfloor heating down. That runs through all rooms, kitchen going in there, and then through a uh, bathroom here. That tray's going to be put in, he's asked me to just go around that, he's going to put a tray in after because we don't know where um, the waste's going to come out, he says. So I've just put that round for the, now. These are all the clip down a lot, see them? You can get a gun for it, so you just stab it in ground. And there, I'm look, they're just plastic little clips that just shoves through your through your visqueen into your uh, king span. There, I'm. and then it comes into here into um, what's this bit? This is going to be bedroom, and it's all ready. So it's ready for the. Uh, the concrete floor, well, the uh, liquid concrete is. That's manifold, and it goes up to it. And then that there's where that's going to be a stud wall, so it's all going to be in a big long cupboard across here. This is pipe, look. Show you pipe. It's got like metal in it. Can you see that? So, like, when you bend it, it just stays wherever you bend it, which is pretty good. So you can just stretch it to wherever you want, look, and it just stays with metal in it. So it just goes to any shape you want it. But yeah, that is it. Just hope I've measured this concrete up right, because uh, I've measured it, and it's coming on Monday. So yeah, I hope I've got that right. Right, see you later.